Pulse, what's up? So yeah, I'm gonna start my 24 hour read -a -ton now and see now I say 24 hour read -a -ton because I learned that it's not 24 hours read -a -ton, but whatever. So I'm gonna start, I'm all set up. I have a candle, I have my Harry Potter ASMR, I have my two priority books and also I asked you to pick some of my books uh, on my Instagram stories so if you're not following me I ask a lot a lot of help on my stories because I'm just a, an annoying Libra who doesn't know how to make a decision so yeah pretty much but yeah so I'm just gonna show you my priority uh, books first so the first one is The Fork, The Witch and The Worm by uh, Christopher Paulini so it's absolutely new it came out like on December 31st I think it's like a collection of tales so I'm pretty 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 excited about it and especially because it's like written like this you can see it's not like very big whatever you're gonna see and for that i'm gonna be using my daenerys dragon uh, magnetic bookmark because now i have that many bookmarks that i can actually try to match my bookmarks to my books i'm that kind of person of booktuber of weirdo of loser whatever i'm doing that then after that i'm gonna read warrior of the wild by trisha levin seller and for that i also have a matching bookmark actually i have two matching bookmarks i have this one because that art was inspired by that book and i got it in my chef love crate um box yeah and then a bookmark here that says why be the sheep when you can be the wolf by grave mercy and on the other side you have a map actually inspired by a uh, warrior of the wild so yeah i'm gonna match my bookmarks to my books so i'm gonna start now the 24 hour reader i have some green tea here but i will probably need some coffee because it's almost like 2 p.m or maybe 2 30 i don't know let me check yeah 2 p.m so i'm only starting now but it means more time for me to read like tomorrow so i will do that oh mooney is nearby you want to say hello to mooney hello hello you going to your bed no you want to say bye bye okay So I'm gonna turn on the ASMR and I plugged my computer to my um, Bose speakers for a better atmosphere, ambience, whatever. And I have my candle, so let's start it. So two hours and 45 minutes later, I finished that book. It's gonna be a five stars for me. Uh, first, I wanna say this is not the first book in the Aragon series, so Inheritance Cycle, whatever. I misread it. It says Tales from Arigasia, Volume 1, Aragon. So this is another series, I guess, and I will say you have to read it after because otherwise you will have been spoiled. like very little but still it was actually so good it's how to explain the book is split in three parts so three stories the fork the witch and the worm and in each story you have three chapters the first chapter and the last one so the third one is from aragon perspective kind of thing and then you have the second chapter who is actually a tale and i love i love I love 
that concept. Like, I was hooked in it. At the end of the book, the author said that writing again about Aragon and Safira made him feel like he was going back home and that's exactly the feeling I had. Like, I have it for Harry Potter, I have it for Narnia, and I have it for Aragon. So I really, really love that book. If you haven't read, like, Aragon, uh, Eldest, Brisinger and Inheritance, don't read that one, read it after. But yeah, I loved it. I love the stories, I love the messages, I loved everything about it and I'm so glad I read. I reread? No, that's not a reread. I read again about um, Aragon. So yeah. And just something, maybe I'm the only stupid person, but you know, I'm like reading blah 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 and instead of putting the magnetic bookmark like normal people would do, I just put it in here and then close the book. Because it takes time to put the actual magnetic bookmark in the proper way. So it's just easier to throw it in the book, if that makes any sense. I I, I wonder if I'm the only one doing that, but whatever. So I finished that book, so now I'm going to be reading Warrior of the Wild. But first I'm going to eat something and um, maybe watch some Gamma Girls while eating. But yeah, I'm so happy I read that book. Like, I'm so, so, so freaking happy. And the second one's gonna take me longer um, because it's actually like over 300 pages and it's actually like normal pages when here, let me try to show you again. See, it's really like you have a lot of empty, space on the pages like it's really a tale when here it's normal so yeah oh and i'm gonna show you the dust jacket the inside of the dust jacket here isn't it beautiful yep yep it's beautiful so yeah i'm gonna read that first i'm gonna get some food and watch Netflix and I'm gonna read again hope you're doing good wolves I mean I'm gonna check on you on Instagram and Twitter Okay, so it's midnight and nine minutes, something like that, and I just finished Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. I just finished Warrior of the Wild. Like, that's insane. I just finished my second book in less than 12 hours. That's insane. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a five star as me, I think. Or maybe a four. A very high four stars. I loved it. I was hooked from the very beginning, like at some point nothing really happened but there was always something even small happening so I was like hooked and I wanted to know more of it. I loved everything about it. I really loved the characters and how everything clicked together. So this is basically the story of a girl who is the sixth girl in the family, so the sixth daughter kind of thing and her father wanted obviously a boy to be the next heir kind of thing but well he got six daughters and so she's the last one the youngest one and she decided one day to become a warrior so she will get trained for that for almost yeah for 10 years and then one day she's gonna have to go on some kind of trial or competition all together with everyone else who turned 18 that year and something's gonna happen and she's gonna fail that test and she's gonna have to go into the wild because she has been banished from her village and all the other villages around her and in order to come back to 
her people, she has a quest, she has something to do that sounds just like impossible. So it sounds like she was sent to die. And yeah, it was really good. And you know what? The main character, the Rasmira, actually peed. She needed to go to the toilet, which I really appreciate because that's what we all need in real life and we don't read much about it in books so i really loved that kind of details but also there were some kind of love story in it but i didn't mind it that much as i would have in other books i just don't know it was like natural in the book it, it went natural i don't think it was necessary but it was natural and yeah, I really loved that story actually. I really enjoyed it and the writing style, etc. It was really easy to read it and it was easy to finish it and to flip the pages. Like, I mean, I finished it and I didn't force myself to finish the book. I just wanted to finish the book, which is just insane. But I really loved it. I loved it. And I want to know now if the leader of the Pirate King and the leader of the Siren Queen are exactly the same or you know what I mean like not the same story obviously but like the same writing etc and the same like kind of addictive books but I would be curious to know that but I I'm planning on reading it sooner than expected but not right now for now I think I'm gonna go to bed actually and maybe watch um, some Kimogoro I was um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed or watch some episode of Gilmore Girl. I might like try to let me change hands. Start the new book, or maybe I can just try to relax. Okay, so this next book is I need to find out what the book will be. Okay, so I need to go on my Instagram story. So I ask you to pick a book between Topaz and the Nirvana Threads by uh, Rachel Tremblay in New Picked Nirvana. So I'm gonna pick that one. So tomorrow I'm gonna be reading the Nirvana Threads. So for now I'm just gonna take a shower and clean a bit my bed so I can just relax and go to bed. Maybe read a chapter or two of the Nirvana Threads. Like, I'm in the mood. I am in a reading mood. <laughs> so, yeah, never mind. Um, okay, I'm proud of myself. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow, Wolves. Love you. Wolves, time for an update. So, yesterday night when I left you, I actually started uh, the Nirvana Threads. And then after I watched Gilmore Girl till 4 a.m. in the morning something like that yeah such a bad idea but whatever I finished it uh, it's gonna be a four stars it is not what I expected it to be so I really 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 enjoyed it so this is a story of Carly Carly is 25 years old and she was married and one day she had a car accident her husband died and she needed a new heart after that she's gonna move back to her parents place they are not really there because they're traveling a lot but she has her best friend her big brother who is 30 when she's 25 and she's gonna start to see stuff she's gonna start to experience some kind of spiritual thing she's gonna start asking herself questions and see stuff that she doesn't really understand but she's gonna love that but yeah I really loved it uh, yeah yeah I want to pick Topaz now, but I need to stick to my books and I really loved it. And I loved that at the end, so the main character is actually drawing and etc, etc. And at the end you have some um, graphic novel kind of thing that she wrote actually. So she wrote in the book and we actually see it. Does that make sense? Whatever. But yeah, I really, really loved it. I love the cover. I love the cover and the Nirvana Threads is actually a very good title <laughs> okay so next i asked you to pick empress of all seasons or the storm crow and you picked the storm crow and then between in the nighthood and the hazelwood i think i'm gonna pick the hazelwood because you the hazelwood actually won and uh, the other poll it was the storm crow but the hazelwood i had it since like christmas so i'm gonna go for that one first and yeah i cannot believe i've already read three books and 
I did it differently this time and I think I'm gonna make a video of that how to get ready for a 24 hour readathon because actually you can get ready and you can like I mean just get ready getting organized etc having the right mindset whatever because this is actually a perfect example of a success like I mean I've read already three books and now I'm gonna start the fourth one and hopefully I will finish in time but I will I will let you know about that was uh, talk to you later I will update you later so I'm gonna pick the Hazelwood by Melissa Albert I think yeah Okay, well, so that's the end of the 24-hour readathon. I obviously didn't finish the Hazelwood. I'm in the middle of it. Um, it is different from what I've read before, but I'm really enjoying it. I know it's kind of weird. It's kind of unusual. This is a story of a girl who only has her mother and every six months three months whatever they move from one place to another just because apparently there is some kind of bad luck following them whenever they go and one day the mom gets a letter that tells her that her mother is dead and actually her mother is a famous fairy tales writer and it's insane how her book is famous but so rare. It's so difficult to get your hands on that book and it's so expensive and people went crazy having some kind of theories about that book and that's because actually her grandmother, I mean the writer, actually disappeared for three years and when she came back she wrote that. There is some kind of theory like she went to a specific place or whatever and she wrote everything and it's just like a book with 12 tales in it if i understood well and now so the mother got a letter telling her that her mother is dead so the grandmother and they're living in new york and like trying to have a normal life etc etc when one day something's gonna happen and everything's gonna turn weird so one day uh, the girl so Alice is gonna find a letter on her bed and she's kind of freaked out because she doesn't know where her mother is or stepfather stepsister etc she cannot find them but there is a weird smell in the apartment kind of thing and she's gonna get that letter and everything's gonna get weirder and weirder after that because apparently the fairy tales are not only fairy tales obviously that's what we expected but apparently the fairy tales the characters in the fairy tales came in new york so it's interesting it's weird it's dark and i really wanted some dark stories i love dark stories dark fairy tales so i'm really looking forward to it and yeah i'm i'm really curious about it i'm really into it and yeah it's so weird because so many mixed feelings about that book so far i'm liking it i'm loving it so far the writing style is okay it's all from the first person uh perspective so i just Alice one. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I hope it's gonna get darker. Like even darker. So the 24 hour readathon is officially over. So I've read three books and a half and I'm pretty proud of myself. So hopefully I will finish this book um, today so I can start fresh next week. And yeah, I cannot wait to finish it to let you know what I think about it because so many mixed feelings. So yeah. But yeah, I think I did great for this 24 hour readathon and i'm proud of myself i yeah three books i mean almost four books that i can take away take off from my um unread tbr unread owned book tbr i love that i love that and with the readathon coming next month is gonna be amazing like i'm doing good and i think on goodreads i set up a challenge like to read 50 books in 2019 and I've already read 25 books I don't know how come like I'm always the first person to say it's okay not to read that many books it's okay not to read at all a month or whatever and it was the case last year but this year like in January I've read like 15 books 
in February 12th or 11th and now in March I've already read five books I think this is the Hazelwood will be the sixth one so I don't know I don't know who am I am I still Sasha because I, I, I honestly don't know what happened to me but that's good right my face is weird but so yeah that's kind of weird I'm impressed by myself and I don't understand how come I'm reading that much I think I had a good strategy so maybe I will share it with you but yeah yeah so yeah I'm gonna leave you here I might update you on my reading with next week's vlog maybe here I don't think so I'm just gonna try to just relax and read and eat and watch some camo girl now yes I'm addicted now but I will stop here I think and hopefully I will be vlogging next week yeah I hope it's gonna be an interesting week for you because my life is pretty boring but Saturday I'm planning on going somewhere so maybe it could be interesting but whatever so that was it for my 24 hour readathon Wolves, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you usually do 24 hour readathon or if you do it with friends sometimes or as a challenge or by the end of the month, you know, to push yourself one more time or whatever. But yeah, but I will go. Thank you for watching again. I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, talk to me in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. And yeah. I will see you very soon. Take care, Wells. Bye.